As we begin the literature of the Eucharist, how is all to be here? Hello, I'm Father Vin. Thank you for joining me on this edition of the Wonders of the Mass. If you've been following along with us these past couple of weeks, we've been nourished with the liturgy through scripture, general intercession, prayers of the faithful. And now sustained with the word, we are going to get ready to learn about the liturgy of the Eucharist. Now let's take time to understand each of these sacred vessels and items. The first one is a corporal. It is a square piece of cloth corporal, also meaning body, which is primarily first and foremost used as a catch. It's a catch that's laid out to catch any particles that may fall onto the altar or precious blood that is dropped onto the altar. It is placed right at the center of the altar as you prepare and all the other items around this. Next, we will learn about the purificator. It is a narrower piece of cloth that is used to clean and cleanse and purify the sacred vessels, hence the name purificator. Also, sometimes the priest will use it to wipe his hands after touching the Eucharist to catch any particles that may have fallen, as well as now the chalice. The chalice is used to hold the wine and water, which will become the precious blood of Jesus Christ during the Mass. Next is the paten, is a sacred vessel in which the host resides on and which will ultimately be the body of Christ. During the Mass, the priest holds up both the chalice and the paten during the consecration. And lastly, we'll speak about the ciboria. These are used to hold additional hosts and used by extraordinary ministers to help the priest distribute communion. All three of these vessels require reverence in cleaning and preparing and taking care of because they will be holding the body and blood of Christ. And therefore, for that very reason, they're made out of precious metals such as silver and gold. Now, the next time you're at mass, try to spot out these sacred vessels during the preparation of the altar and remember what they're made for, each and every single item. And you too, as you're preparing yourselves for the Mass, you will be a sacred vessel as you receive Christ in communion. And thank you for joining us on this episode of The Wonders of the Mass. And remember, when you leave the Mass, live the Mass. <laughs>